Eddie Howe was appointed manager of AFC Bournemouth on New Year's Eve 2008 in what looked little more than a cost-saving exercise. Howe had amassed over 250 appearances for the Cherries and been in and around the club since the age of 10. But what did he really know about management? After all, his last job had been coaching the under-14s. And could he really take a side struck down by a 17-point deduction, eight points adrift of safety at the bottom of the Football League and turn them into a team of winners? Of course he could. After just two years in the job, Eddie had achieved immeasurable success, inking his name into the Cherries' history books. Firstly, pulling off the great escape and keeping his side in the Football League with a dramatic last day win over Grimsby. Then spearheading a promotion campaign that catapulted Bournemouth into League One and saw them quickly pushing for promotion to the Championship. Then, the unthinkable happened. Eddie left in court. During the 18 months that followed, the Cherries went from the League One playoffs to a place in the relegation zone. And with the manager's job vacant once again, no one could have predicted what happened next. something um, you know two three weeks beforehand that had really been on the horizon so it came a little bit out of the blue it was very much a case of me having to make a, a quick decision um, for the future of my career and obviously for my family and once I'd sort of got my head around it I knew that it was something that I wanted to do um, and I wanted to make happen and I don't think anyone envisaged quite what would happen after that and, and how well it would go but certainly around making the decision time, it was an incredibly stressful period, really. I wouldn't have, have moved from Burnley for any other club, and I mean that. Um, I'm quite a, well, I think, I believe I'm a very loyal and quite um, sensitive person, and I think I uh, I don't move easily. I, I get very attached to, to clubs and to, to people, and. I was very attached to this club uh, whenever I've left. You know, when I left for Portsmouth, it was an incredibly difficult decision. When I left for Burnley, it was a very difficult decision. Um, but I think coming back, it just felt right. As soon as I walked back through the building here, I was like, yes, I've made the right decision. I knew Eddie as a friend, and um, there was no doubt in my mind that he could do the job. And whilst he was here before, and we worked together, we were successful. So no problems whatsoever. Eddie, Jason, welcome back. I can ask you, first of all, Eddie, this, this, this must be almost surreal for you. Uh, what's it been like this week? Yeah, it's been a, a difficult week, I think. You know, walking through those doors today, it felt like we'd never been away. Um, but a lot has changed at the football club. We just have to walk around and we have this morning at the facilities. and um, Big changes here, and, and all for the better in terms of infrastructure, so we, we've been really impressed. That was great, really. The Saturday before I left the, left the club and I was being hackled and... <laughs> got things thrown at me and then the, on the following Saturday I come back and there was only one Eddie Mitchell so I don't know quite what happens but it was obviously good news and it was very important to me to get the fans behind the club. From my perspective I don't have a long term view on things, I was very ambitious as a player where I wanted to try and reach the highest level that I could and I worked every day to try and make myself better. I'm the same as the manager, I try and learn and develop myself every day but in terms of my ambitions I don't have a long-term goal to say this is what I must achieve I think I've slightly changed in that respect it's now I must win the next game that's my only thing that I'm bothered about and I will work towards that beyond this season let's wait and see what happens here first um, who knows where this club can go I think the potential is very high we've got an excellent squad we've got really good backers um, the stadium's developing all the time, the infrastructure. You know, it's really good times for this football club at the moment.